Hello everybody, Resented here, back in my program, and today I'm doing the next of the Blood Mage abilities. In the last video I did these two active abilities, Blood Boil and Hemorrhage. In this video I'm going to be doing the next two actives, which is Bleed Out and Infusion. And Bleed Out makes, uh, oh, I should probably turn off Steam notifications, but I'll just leave them in. Maybe I'll get a cool message, and we'll find out. Anyways, the Blood Mage spends 30% of his current health, 10 minimum, to deal spell damage equal to two times... The health spent so yes uh, deals a good amount of damage but it deals also deals a lot of damage to the enemy so yeah and then you can upgrade it to increase the damage multiplier and reduce the cooldown on it and then infusion deals spell damage to each enemy equal to excuse me 10 percent of their maximum health and heals the blood mage by the total damage dealt which could be very very useful for healing up from uh, all the health that you've spent in the abilities then it costs some 35 health cooldown six turns so it's a long cooldown but it's a pretty good heal and then you deal 10 percent max health damage extra and it converts the spell damage to divine damage so it will instead deal divine damage which is going to be crazy so we're going to do bleed out first so let's put this over here and we're going to go to bleed out and infusion and thanks to Git for showing me which spells I have yet to do. The green ones are the ones that are synced up. But since I changed Blood Boil and Hemorrhage, those aren't synced up. And I'll have to sync them after I finish the Blood Mage. So for here, Bleed Out, we're going to need just one right now. One variable. This is going to be... Oh, my nose is like... Ugh. It's not stuffed, but it's just like... Just, it's, it's stuck. There's some, there's some stuff stuck in there, which is absolutely gross. But, anyways, uh, we're gonna do health molt. It's going to be a number. It's gonna be equal to two to start with. No, 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 two. There we go. We're going to override update description. And here we're going to do this. Oh my god. I am still trying to get used to this keyboard. I apologize. I need to slow down a little bit. Deals spell. Oh no, just kidding. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm doing bleed out, not fucking infusion, you dummy. Look at look at bleed out. Okay, so this is the blood, the bleed, blood. No, oh my God, the blood mage spends 30% current health, 10 minimum to deal spell damage equal to to no no no. Instead of that, it's plus this dot health molt plus times the health spent equal to times the health spent yeah that seems perfect so we're going to override upgrade spell one in this one we increase the damage multiplier by two and then in oops i did the override a little bit too close to the other one upgrade spell two this one reduces the cooldown. No, no, not, not just cooldown. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, it is cooldown. By two turns, yes, okay, so. Now we override cast spell, and this one's going to take away, oh yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cast spell. So this isn't going to do anything because it deals no damage. I think that's that right there. Yeah, okay, so var um, health spent. No, no, just kidding, hold on. Um, var, yeah, I'm not gonna use this. Damage dealt, it's gonna be an int equal super cast spell target. The thing is I have to call, well, I guess I don't have to. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do, yeah, I do. I can just call it, I don't even need to make a variable. That, sorry, I'm, I'm my a million things are flying through my head and I'm trying to parse them to say the thing that makes the most coherent sense so I can just call the super cast spell which will cast the spell and spend the health and it's going to set the resource spent so from there I can basically do um, like a new stat change event it's going to change current health uh, it's going to do spell damage Target entity is the target, source is the owner, change is by uh, this dot spent, no, 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 
uh, resource spent, there we go, um, multiplied by this dot health molt. And then rounds is gonna be true. And we're going, oh, actually I do need a uh, damage dealt uh, variable because I need to set it to the change of that stat change event because we need to return or you know what don't even do that dummy I can just uh, expedite the middleman do return new stat change event dot change perfect that will work just fine so current health spell it takes the resource spent which is the health and I think it's going to be a negative number hold on let me see let me see if it's a negative number. I'm pretty sure it is because it sets the resource spent to the change. Yeah, so the change is gonna use your health and it's gonna set the resource spent to a negative number. Yes, that should be fine. And is that it? Is that really all I needed to do? Hold on, let's uh, test it out. Dot bleed out dot unlock entity player. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Active spell dot bleed out dot upgrade spell one. So this should deal um four times as much damage as the health that I spend. Ally one. Okay. So it should spend thirty percent current health, which is what? Uh three hundred to deal four oh, this is gonna instant kill him, I think. Instantly kill him. Do I have to nerf? Oh shit, guys. It instantly killed him. Oh my god. It spent 300 health and dealt 1200 damage. That is so good. Hold on. I think I really need to nerf that a little bit. Um. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to nerf it just a little bit. By a factor of fifth of 0.5, so it's going to only deal damage equal to 1.5 times the health spent. And when you upgrade it, it's going to make it another 1.5 times for a total of three times the health spent at max level. And yeah, the it still does a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong, but I think that's a little better. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a lot better. Okay, so there we go, bleed out. That took a, a very small amount of time. Like I, I wasn't expecting that, because it was a, it was a more unique spell, and so I figured maybe it would uh, have some little nuances that I'd have to work out. But that worked just fine. So now we're going to be doing infusion, which deals spell damage to each enemy equal to ten percent of their max. Level. Again, you saw this one. So it damages all the enemies and heals you by the total damage dealt, and then we just do some divine damage when you upgrade it and that's all there is to it private var uh, max health damage it's gonna be a number equals to 0 0.1 override update description then this dot description equals deals and then I need this dot initial damage type damage to each enemy equal to, oh god, equal to, plus math.round, this dot max health damage times 100, percent of their maximum health, and heals the blood mage by the total damage dealt. Perfect, okay. So this should update it to spell type first, because it deals... Um, oh wait, a heal. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, because the cast spell isn't going to do anything to the target. It's just going, okay, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Damage type, it's going to be a string equals spell. Then instead of initial damage type, it's just going to be damage type. Okay, override, upgrade spell one. This one's going to increase the damage, no, 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 the maximum health damage by another 10%. Override, upgrade spell two is going to change 
the damage type to divine. Yep, okay, so that should be fine. And then we do override, cast spell. Then what we need to do is, I don't even need to call, no, I do need to call the super cast spell because um, it needs to spend the mana, or the health in this case. It's gonna spend the health and it's going to basically four, we, got, we, got, we have to deal damage to every enemy equals zero. I is less than entity, entities dot length. I plus plus, then var current entity is going to be of type entity equals entity, entities at index I. If current entity dot stats type is greater than one, meaning if it's an enemy, then new stat change event is going to be current health, change type uh, this dot damage type, target entity is current entity, source entity is the owner, by a change of current entity times, uh, well their max health, times this dot max health damage, but I have to take the negation because it's going to deal damage. There we go, and then rounds is going to be equal to true. Let's see if there's enough space to put this up here instead. Ah, there really isn't, so I'm not gonna do that. And, okay, so I do need a variable of our damage dealt int. So, damage dealt plus equals the change of this stat change event. And so we're gonna be checking, oh, actually, I'm gonna set it to zero to start with. Or I guess I could just, ow, oh, screw it. It's gonna be zero anyway, so I'll just do this. Save myself one line of code. So var damage dealt equals super cast spell target. So this is going to return zero because it's not gonna deal any damage. So this is gonna be zero t by default. And every time the spell deals damage to an enemy, the damage dealt variable is going to increase. And then at the very end, we're going to have a new stat change event. Current health, it's gonna be a buff. Target entity is the owner from the owner by a change of the negation of damage dealt, and then rounds is gonna be true, of course. And then we're going to return damage dealt. And I think that should be fine, because here it's going to iterate through all the entities, deal damage to all of the enemies, increase the amount of damage that the spell is dealing per enemy that we attack, and at the very end, we take the total damage dealt and we heal the blood mage by the damage that we dealt, but the negation because damage dealt is going to be a negative number, whereas we want to make it positive so that it heals instead of de de dealing damage. And then we return the total damage that we dealt. That should be fine, so let us try it. Infusion. So in this case, it should only deal damage to the ally one, and so it should deal 200 damage, which in case, which in turn is going to heal the player by 200, which is actually going to heal him by zero because he's going to be at full health when the spell casts. So let's see. Current health cast, he's actually not going to be at full health because to cast the spell costs health by 35, and then we deal 200 divine damage, and we heal by 200, which goes down to 35 since that puts him to max health. But if he were at um, lower health, it would heal however much it could. So anyway, yeah, that's working just fine. I can't believe that these two abilities didn't take that long to make, which I'm not complaining about because that means I can end this video here and start another video. But first, I will show you guys how um, my Git thing works because I was able to get Git working with uh, Dropbox. And now what's going to happen is Git is going to save all of the, uh, all of the versions of my game that I make and so if I make a new version of my game and that version breaks I can roll back to a previous version that did work and so that's gonna be pretty cool um, initial commit and now we have all this where it's showing you what I changed in this session and in this session I've changed uh, the blood mage spells and it shows you what I added the green is what I added and the red is what's taken away
so you can you can look through all the stuff that that changed to see like what happened so you know this path element uh, link got removed and it got replaced with this new path element which is exactly the same but it's good to update it just in case uh, the path does change so anyways yeah and then it shows you all the green like what were what happened what added and what got removed and there were some removals here in blood boil I think I changed it up which is why it's saying yeah like the whole thing says that it removed because it got changed to this so yeah that makes sense um then yeah it's pretty cool then what I can do is I can call this when I this button down here says commit to master this basically means all these changes um, lock them in and send these new changes to my repository online and so what I can do is I can be like a uh, blood mage blood blood mage blood mage spells work hooray we'll commit it and so it's gonna update so all these spells are now going to be part of the like the master create commit okay created and then if we sync it's gonna sync to my online repository and all the all the changes that I just committed are now going to be able to be viewed online from my uh, source code repository. So that's pretty cool. I'm just, it's gonna take a little bit because it's syncing a shit ton. Like it has to sync my entire game. So it's gonna take a little bit, but once it gets synced, you're gonna see all these little dots turn green. Oh, maybe, yeah, okay. It says we synced, I think. Yes, 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 Blood Mage. I think if maybe if I restart uh, the lab or my uh, program, let's see. Let's restart. See if it uh, see if it worked. Uh, where's the little dots? Yep, there we go. All of them are green now. And then it's still red because I guess something is changed. I'm not sure what it is, but whatever. Anyways, I just want to show you guys that. So I enjoyed I enjoyed uh, making the GitHub thing work because it took so long for me to get GitHub to work. But it's working now, and I love it. It's amazing. So anyways, that's the end of this video. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that garbage. And I'll see you guys next time.